Apocalypse. What's going on everyone, my name is Connor D and welcome to Green Go Gaming. Uh, it's a little bit different today, um, I'm actually bringing you a PUBG video, um, which I'm sure you'll see from the first little clip in the thumbnail. I've actually been jumping on Fortnite. Now, the thing that's made me jump back onto Fortnite is the fact that they've released the Infinity Gauntlet mode, okay? What they've done is they've brought a crossover with the release of the new Avengers Infinity War, and being a big, big Marvel geek and having just seen the film, it's just something I couldn't miss out on, okay? So basically what happens is, you drop into a map, there's a set circle, and at some point, um, at the start, a, a gauntlet will drop down, and if you get in charge of that, you become Thanos, okay? The big Marvel villain in the latest film, and I've got a set of It's actually a little bit harder to use than I thought it might be, had a great, great time doing it. So what I wanted to do is spend a little bit of time talking you through the powers that he does have and the things you can expect, okay, and things not to do. So the first time I got the ball in, um, I didn't really know what was going on. I had a little bit of a play, and I actually jumped out quite a lot when I'm running around. If you press jump, he does this big power-up jump, and a few different take shots at you. Now the other thing to know is that once your shield has gone and your health starts chipping away, you can never get that back. When you get a kill with Thanos, it will regenerate the shield, which is currently set at 200. It's been nerfed slightly from yesterday, where it was 300, okay? You've also got a big swinging punch, which he does, which knocks down structures, which knocks people out. I think it does about 80 damage, so, you know, you're getting a couple of shots on people, they're flattened. Um, absolutely gone. And the third ability, which is probably the coolest out of all of them, but one that I struggle to use, because... I'm not really used to Fortnite, if I'm perfectly honest, if you haven't played it for a while, is the release of the power of the stone. I'm not sure which stone it's meant to be, to be perfectly honest with you, but it shoots out a big laser beam out the front, and then it just tears people apart once you hit them, okay? So, it's so much fun. I would definitely recommend having a go, but let's just jump into it. This is the first time I've ever got Thanos in Fortnite Battle Royale. Thank you.
So unfortunately, it didn't quite go as planned in my head when the first time I became Thanos. I thought I could just, you know, completely boss the map and all of this sort of stuff and teleport and all of that. So anyway, I was quite, fairly happy with it. Got a few kills. Showed off um, the different sort of functions that he's got. Did learn a couple of things. One is that um, if you actually get the moon rocks, um, they actually work out really well. That guy at the end who actually rinsed about 700 of my health, um, what he was doing is he was jumping back with them, and so I'm actually getting quite far back. Now, obviously by the time Thanos gets his power jump ready and sort of heads off in the air and comes back down, they've moved, and trust me, people gang up on Thanos. Uh, they sort of forget about each other, and they just get him dead, because the only reason anyone's even playing these games, I think, is that they want to become Thanos, they want to try this out, okay, so, anyway, that's what I learned, um, I did have another goal, my second goal is that I actually wanted to kill Thanos, become Thanos, and hopefully at that point it would be a little bit further in the game and I could have a chance of winning, okay, so, let's just jump into that, um, at the end there's not going to be any sort of send-offs or anything like that or highlights from me, so, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a comment below or even subscribe to the channel, thank you. Destiny so alone.